All right, welcome to Thursday, February 10th. Today's reading will be Leviticus chapters 10 through 12. I hope you're having a great day so far. I just transitioned wrong. Hello and welcome to Thursday, February 10th. Today's reading will be Leviticus chapters 10 through 12. Hope you're having a great day so far. So finally we get a little bit of a break from the directive portion of Leviticus and now get into a descriptive. Nadab and Abihu, uh, they're commanded in Exodus 19 and 30 of where they're supposed to take the fire from. And they took it from the wrong place and uh, God killed them for it. And so again, this is early on. And uh, so, you know, God did the same thing with Ananias and Sapphira. They lied uh, to the Holy Spirit and uh, in Acts chapter 5, and God killed them for it. I just want to notice in, in verse 9, it, the priests were commanded not to drink wine or strong drink because they would be going into God's presence. And uh, I'll leave that with you. But now see the other two sons of Aaron here, towards the end, Nadab and Abihu had a sin of commission. Now here it was a sin of neglect. It was omission versus commission and uh, just had a strong rebuke instead of death. Um, you know, it seemed like this was more out of ignorance, but uh, as we mentioned earlier, God, I believe there's a difference between uh, ignorance and sin. Chapter 11, we start talking about clean versus unclean animals, what can be eaten, what can't be. Uh, verse 19, remember we talked about this before, sometimes gets mocked because God classifies a bat as a bird. Uh, remember, it seems to me that animals are classified due to their locomotion and not because of what glands they have that they can feed their uh, young with. When Jesus and uh, the book of uh, Jonah seem to differ on whether it was a fish or a whale because we don't classify them the same, well, we can't make a classification system after the fact and then go back and mock God because his description doesn't fit within the classification system we made. Uh, his differs than ours. That's not a big deal. You read through there, and it's uh, it's kind of tough to keep track of which one can be eaten, which one couldn't. <clears throat> All the ones that get mentioned, it's funny that only the pig is the one that people seem to have a problem with. Uh, can't eat rabbits either, but who cares to eat a rabbit anyways? Um, but no bacon, no pork, no sausage. No shrimp. Now I see here the chapter 12 is a short chapter. And you are sitting there right now thinking, why didn't Pastor just have that be the third of four chapters? And the reason is you look over to chapter 13, you see how long that puppy is. <clears throat> and we're going to start getting into leprosy. <clears throat> we're starting to get into leprosy in chapter 13. And uh, so I'm just not mentally prepared for that right now. The scabs and the colors and the pus and the hair. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you notice down there at the, at the last verse, um, if you're too poor to bring a lamb, you were to bring then two birds. When it says turtles, it's talking about turtle doves. It's not talking about box turtle or something like that. And uh, so if you're poor, you just brought two birds. Uh, now if you flip over then to when Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph, when Jesus was born, they brought two turtle doves indicating that Mary and Joseph were poor. Jesus grew up in a poor home. Now, it's kind of interesting there. Joseph was the rightful king of Israel. Jesus was the rightful king of Israel. They are of the, the lineage of David. Everybody knew this. That's why they were in Bethlehem in the first place. Uh, remember when Jesus was walking down the street, uh, hey, you son of David, have mercy on me. They knew who he was. Jesus was the rightful king. Joseph was the rightful king, but yet didn't have enough money to get a lamb. You know, we worry about not being able to give our kids all these material things, but at the same time, you look at here, I, I think Jesus turned out pretty good, don't you? Yeah. Now, if you want to get ahead and read about leprosy, go right on ahead. I'll, uh, I'll hit it all tomorrow. Plus, that next chapter is kind of long. Have a great day.